Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be making a beautiful design that's going to relax you when you create it. And in order to do this design, we're going to be making a circular kind of design underneath it that you can trace. So I'd like to show you how to do that part first. And what you need is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half like so. And then you're going to fold it in half again. You're also going to need three container tops, three container tops and a Crayola marker. My container tops look like this. I have a red one, a green one, and I have a clear one. The red one I'm going to use first because it's the biggest one. And I'm going to just center it on my paper, flipping it upside down. I'm doing this by eye. And I'm going to make a circle all the way around by pushing my marker against the edge. That is what you're going to do. Then you'll take the next one. Flip it upside down, the one that's a little smaller. Make a circle. By pushing against the edges, you're going to hold it with one hand. It's the hand that you do not write with. And then just push against the edges to make the next circle. Lastly, I have a small circle. Put it in the middle. You could look straight down on it and push against the edge. Now, if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. This is something that you're using so that you're going to put the paper through on top of it and see through. See? Like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring this down so you can see very well when I draw. And this is what you're going to do. You want to, oh, actually, I thought of something else that I did not do. Besides folding your circle, you're going to fold your circle like this and then fold it again, which I had showed you before, except the circle was not there yet. One more time, you're going to just fold your paper over. So that way, by doing that, your circle gets divided, getting divided up into eight pieces. And so you could see the eight pieces. Draw a line along all the folds that you made. Notice I'm turning the paper just to make it easier to handle. You could do that too. Just like that. There you go. Okay. Now you have this wonderful circle with sections in it that you can place a blank paper over and do your drawing. Okay, so watch how I do this. You're going to do this along with me. In the middle, you press down so you can see it well. In the middle, you're going to draw a circle. And then, wherever there's a line, draw a line coming out from it. Just copy exactly what you see. Draw a line. Now, where there's a line going this way around, instead of just copying that, make it look more like a flower. Make a curved line. Make a curved line. 
So you're looking through, you make a curved line. If you feel like you're afraid that this could shift or move, you can tape it down. And when you turn it, it will not move. Okay? Now, inside of this flower, why not add something? Let's add a line, just like that. Right in the middle of each petal. But look at how, by having that picture underneath, it helps us so much to make a symmetrical design. In fact, I'm going to put a little dot at the end of each one. And you do that too. Now, I'm going to take this shape that I could see through the next shape. And I'm not going to make a flower. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make two curves that come in towards the middle. Look at that. And actually, look, it's going to become a leaf. I just realized I didn't even do that purposely. And the most fun thing about this is every time you go to make a design, you're going to find, you're going to get surprised. Isn't that wonderful? So I'm just touching each one. It looks like a leaf following. And then drawing as I go along. That's so pretty. Wow. All right. Now, instead of it just being a leaf with a flower, let me think of something else that I could do. How about a teardrop shape instead? But it's going to be upside down. Watch. Teardrop. Do it again in between. Teardrop. In between. Teardrop. And use the picture underneath to help you draw your teardrops. There you go. Try to get them the same and relax. As you do it, relax. Take a deep breath in. Oh, and a breath out. It feels so good. Okay, now I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make a curve line and then a curve line, but it's going to go under instead of over. So, right here, curve line over, curve line under, curve line over, curve line under. I do the same thing again and again. It's coming out so pretty. I love it. Every time you use the underlay, that's the picture that you did underneath, you're going to find you're going to come up with new ideas, new designs. Now, inside of each of these teardrops, I'm going to do a double teardrop, make another line. Another littler teardrop. Everybody try that. Little teardrops. Everybody do it with me. Everybody do it with me. And by having a double line, it's going to help us when we color. You'll see what I mean. In fact, I'm going to put a double line here too. Watch. Double line. Double line. So you're making another line over the leaf line. And you'll see why in a minute. It's looking a little complicated, but when you go to color it, you can understand why I did that. Now, right in here, I'm just going to make a circle. And then how about just two lines out that way? A circle, and then two lines. Oh, looks like I forgot one here. Whoop. It's always fun to see the teacher make a mistake. <laughs> and I remember seeing my teachers make mistakes and saying to myself, 
how could she be a teacher? She made a mistake. <laughs> but you have to realize teachers are people too, and we make mistakes too. Circle, line, line, circle, line, line. I feel so much calmer already. Um, I think I'm going to finish this now. And I don't have a lot of room on the side, so I have to be careful. Um, how about like this? Just another little kind of a curved line, not too big, on each one of those. Oh, it's so pretty. And I can't wait to make copies and to color it different ways. In fact, I'm going to do something nice for you and show you how it can look different just by coloring it differently. So there you have it. Look how beautiful. And I hope you had as much fun as I did.